What's up, y'all? It's your boy, AJ, and this is AJ Reacts 2, and today I actually have a film review. Uh, I know that I've been kind of straying away from film reviews so much, but I actually had the privilege to check this film out before its release date. The film is called Freaky, starring Vince Vaughn and Catherine Newton. Um, this was a fun ride, and we'll get into my thoughts and things like that, so I I'm excited to get into this, so let's go. discovers she has less than 24 hours to change before it becomes permanent. Essentially, this is a body swap film. It reminds me of Freaky Friday, gives Freaky Friday vibes, and there's so many films that do these body swap um, type of things, and it, it's kind of a, a, a trope at this point where, you know, the you switch bodies and then, like, you have a certain amount of time before you're you know, permanently, permanently in that body that you swapped with. You have Catherine Newton as Millie and Vince Vaughn as the Blissfield Butcher and they swap. So um, the Blissfield Butcher is actually in Millie's body and Millie is actually in the Blissfield Butcher's body. And Millie, while she's in Vince Vaughn's character, tries to switch back. So she's, you know, this teenage girl again. Obviously, why wouldn't you want to switch back? I don't think you really want to be in Vince Vaughn's body for too long if you're a 16 year old girl. So Millie, while inside the Blissfield Butcher's body, has to convince her friends that she is really Millie. And that right there was hilarious. That was probably my favorite part of the film where she has to try to convince them and they're scared out of their mind because they see this big guy and, you know, they don't believe that that's their friend. I, I think Vince Vaughn really took this took this role he he really made this role his own i didn't the, the thing about me is i'm not a huge vince vaughn fan I'm, I'm not a huge fan of his especially his comedy um i've seen a few roles that he's taken um and you know where he has more of a serious stature you know he he had, takes on a more serious role and i enjoy enjoy those more um than his comedic roles we've seen films where uh, a teenage girl is inside of a body of a grown man. We've seen that in Jumanji, um, and I think Jack Black did it phenomenally. And I, something in me was comparing the two, and I feel like Jack Black did it better, um, but I feel like the vision might have been different in this film. But overall, I enjoyed the performances from the actors. The direction that it took was interesting. It's such a familiar story with a twist to it. I think it goes through a lot of the different tropes in horror films um, with the certain people that, you know, die and, you know, you kind of see it coming. I think Millie's two friends are great in this film. Uh, they bring a lot to the table, which a lot of horror films, I feel like the friends don't always bring a lot to the table, but her friends in this film did, especially Josh. I thought he brought a lot of laughs. He was very funny. And uh, yeah, I really connected to that character. This film brought Friday the 13th vibes, and that's funny because it releases on Friday the 13th. So overall, I would give this film a 8.5 out of 10. So head down to the comments. Let me know if you're going to watch this film. If it's something that you're interested in, let me know why. I'm interested to see. Follow me on social media, Instagram, Twitter, Letterboxd, Twitch, AJ Reacts to all across the board. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching, and I will catch you guys next time.